I think it's it's kind of the dirty secret in, in the U.S., what's going on right here in our nation's capital and in a lot of other urban areas in our country. Uh, DC In D.C., one out of every 20 adults is living with HIV. Uh, that is a rate that's higher than a lot of sub-Saharan African countries. Uh, it is higher than Port-au-Prince, Haiti, the poorest capital, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, has an HIV-AIDS prevalence that's lower than than right here in D.C. and one of the most powerful cities in the world. In D.C., more than 50% of people, more than half of people in D.C. that are diagnosed with HIV progress to full-blown AIDS within a year. And that just means that people are not getting tested until it's too, it's too late. They're not getting tested until they're presenting symptoms of AIDS. And so um, that's something that's scary because you would expect that in the United States versus a third world country, you would have people that are able to manage the disease a little bit better, able to find it and do something about it a little more proactively given our resources.